Ten years ago, the people of our area elected me to represent them in Harrisburg after having been represented for the preceding 26 years by an exceptional public servant, Tom Tighe. Tom's dedication to the people of our area can never be surpassed, and I, like each of you, miss him. After serving as your state representative for 10 years, it's fair to ask, what have you accomplished? This brief presentation outlines specific community project achievements and legislative successes since 2006. I'm very proud of these accomplishments and believed it was time to highlight some of them for each of you, the people who have supported me and helped to re-elect me four times. Most of these successes are the result of collaborative efforts from others here in our community and in Harrisburg, too numerous to mention by name. I've been quite fortunate to have had the assistance of many talented federal, state, and local elected officials, as well as many community leaders. I'm especially proud of the fact that my voice and our region now play a significant role in Harrisburg thanks to my status as a senior member of the House Democratic Caucus. Our region is the beneficiary of this seniority and I intend to continue to put this clout to work for the people I serve. I consider it the highest honor to serve the people of Lackawanna and Luzerne counties and I'm very pleased to share our successes with you. Across the country, we have a need to repair and rebuild our infrastructure, and Pennsylvania is no exception. Overused traffic routes are among the problems which Representative Mike Carroll is helping to solve. Obviously, a large amount of funding is required to execute the building of new infrastructure. A $43 million project, Representative Carroll was able to successfully lead PennDOT to design and construct new access ramps to I-81 and new access to the scranton wilkes Airport and the connector road to Grimes Business Park. FedEx Corporation found value in this alternative route access and opened a regional facility here, resulting in employment opportunities for area residents. In addition, DuPont Borough, home of Grimes Business Park, was awarded $1.1 million in funding for the reconstruction of Commerce Road, helping to alleviate heavy traffic from local roads for the 3,000 employees commuting to work each day. Besides highway improvements through Representative Carroll's intervention, our region's airport recently received significant aviation funding to construct a new hangar, which will house our region's police helicopter. Investing in infrastructure produces a foundation for long-term growth. A main artery to New York and Philadelphia, we are investing in future construction of high-speed ramps and a beltway connector, helping to ease out-of-town traffic on I-81, providing a high-speed alternative for north and southbound traffic. All of this is part of a $170 million project Representative Carroll helped to successfully lead with the Pennsylvania Turnpike. In our district, we are blessed with many rivers, streams, and lakes. But during our nation's rise in the Industrial Revolution as the center of Pennsylvania's anthracite legacy, our region's land was impacted and pollution brought a threat to the Lackawanna River. Now the greatest polluter of the Chesapeake Bay, Representative Mike Carroll has made advancements to correct this. Carroll has successfully advocated for nearly $2 million in Act 13 funds to Susquehanna Mining Solutions, advancing a project to clean the Lackawanna River by removing iron oxide from the Old Forge borehole. Upon this successful completion, it will be a huge environmental improvement for the Lackawanna and Susquehanna Rivers, as well as the Chesapeake Bay, preserving their beauty for generations to come. Sometimes the problem lies in controlling where the water should and should not flow. Unfortunately, our district has been impacted when the water rose to flood levels. Our communities rallied together to bring back what was lost and with the help of Representative Mike Carroll, funding has been secured for the critically important new flood prevention wall and levee in Durier along the Lackawanna River, which will help to protect hundreds of residents avoiding the devastating impact of flooding that occurred in 2011. 
By directing $300,000 to evoke a borough for the relocation of a bridge carrying the Reading Railroad over Mill Creek, the area of West Avoca is now protected from flooding. Representative Carroll has also secured funding for new culverts in Bear Creek, Springbrook, and DuPont. In addition, the construction of a stormwater collection system in Bear Creek Village and Yatesville also protected the town's bocce ball court. Representative Carroll has also directed significant funding for a new riverfront townhouse project and a new office building both in Pittston City with tremendous streetscape enhancements also in Plains Township and Moscow. My name is Jason Sabatelli. I'm in business with my parents, Jane and Rocky Sabatelli. We've been here for 40 years in Pittston, and this is the best this town's ever looked in the history of Pittston. Believe it or not, after the sidewalks were, were in the process of being done, our business is up major league, and people are stopping. It doesn't go 10 minutes without somebody coming through the door, and everybody comments on how wonderful Pittston looks. Uh, and we owe it all to Mike Carroll because he... Uh, he was the guy who got it done. The stuff that he gets done is permanent. In order to maintain our beautiful communities, we must have the necessary equipment. To the benefit of the communities within the 118th District, Representative Carroll has preserved millions of dollars in funding for new municipal equipment and building upgrades, various police and municipal vehicles, along with the resurfacing of local roads and new traffic signals. Representative Carroll has successfully advocated for funding toward quality improvements to our parks, libraries, and public schools as well. He advocated for local share grant funding to award North Pocono School District with $490,000 for the construction of a new football field and tennis courts. And the recent addition to the Pittston Memorial Library was accomplished with the assistance of $500,000 in funding secured by Representative Carroll. As a six-year member of the Board of Directors of FIA, serving the higher education needs of Pennsylvania students, and as a 10-year member of the Education Committee, Representative Carroll recognizes the value of education at all levels. An innovative way for both area residents and surrounding townships to benefit environmentally and financially is through the development of the Greater Pittston Regional Compost Commission. Mike Carroll successfully advocated for funding of necessary equipment, which allows area residents to dispose of their yard waste to then be composted and sold in bulk. An excellent solution to rogue dumping in public land, making it easy for residents to repurpose their waste and do the right thing for our environment. And when he successfully added language into the Fiscal Code Bill directing $1.3 million to Boy Scout Mincy Trail Council for reconstruction of the Stillwater Dam, he was able to secure the structure as well as secure the fate of the Boy Scout camp. When the AMVETS Post 189 of Greater Pittston came to Representative Carroll for the request that repairs be made to their transport van, which is used for military funeral details, it was granted without hesitation. Representative Carroll also helped to secure tax credits to advance senior housing projects in Moscow and DuPont, providing an opportunity for our senior residents to remain in the community. Our region is rich in history, where residents can sometimes tell a tale of a building older than themselves, which sometimes carries negative effects, such as the iconic old silk mill in Duryea. My name is James Steer. I would like to talk about the uh, Duryea Silk Mill. It was, right where the house is, it was in the back. It was built in the 1900s, and after the war in 1945, it closed, and it was abandoned. And through the years, the trees took over, and if you went by, you wouldn't know there was a building back there. I contacted Michael Carroll to see what he could do about it, and Michael came, checked it out, and in time, it was removed and we have four new lots there. And there's one occupied right now and three to go. The demolition of the old silk mill acted as a precursor, a perfect example of what if vision. That vision came just a few years later in the form of the Greater Pittston Land Bank. Through state funding, abandoned properties will be improved or demolished, encouraging great potential for future development. 
He listens to the people in his district when they share their concerns and knows he is their voice in Harrisburg. In 2012, when the devastating hit-and-run accident in Luzerne County took the life of young Kevin Miller, Representative Carroll met with Kevin's parents and took action to effect change. He was the sponsor of an amendment to enact Kevin's law related to enhancing the penalty for leaving the scene of a fatal accident, which was signed into law in 2014 by Governor Corbett. And as original co-sponsor and one of the leading House Democrats who advanced the Transportation Funding Bill, Act 89, which is vital to our region, Representative Carroll has helped to ensure Pennsylvania's transportation policy is set for the foreseeable future. I currently serve on the Agricultural and Rural Affairs Committee as its chair. In addition, I'm a proud member of the Transportation Committee and Rules Committee. These committee assignments give me the ability to represent you in an effective and professional manner. I take that responsibility very seriously. I understand the dynamics in play in Harrisburg, and I understand how to bring results for the people I represent. It's been my great pleasure to serve you for the past 10 years, and I look forward to working with you, elected officials and community leaders from throughout our region, to make sure that our area has representation second to none. I thank you for the opportunity to serve you, and I look forward to the future for our region of this great state. Thank you so much.